que la siguiente presentación está a cargo de Julieta Costa sobre el ascenso de invierno de Milano Real en Portugal. Julieta traba, eh, que trabaja en ASPEA, ¿no? es la presidenta de Red Life en Portugal, y eh, trabaja con el ascenso de Milano Real y actualmente trabaja en un live sobre la de los micros de Salimoche, Perdicera y, y demás. Más en el Um, 
But uh, okay, they we tried to to count them all of them this way, and this was the general methodology that was followed by everybody. <coughs> Uh, the results, uh, we counted uh, 21 active hosts and uh, 28 non-active hosts. That means there were hosts that were previously known, but uh, for some reason, either uh, they, they didn't have uh, red kites or they have uh, other species. Uh, so most of them, we don't know why they're not there anymore. Um, we don't know if the if there are uh, the roosts moved uh, somewhere nearby or not, or if most of the roosts just uh, don't uh, exist anymore. Um, but uh, in in fact, uh, as a, a summary, I can tell that uh, about one third of the roosts have above a uh, um, hundred individuals. Uh, just one uh, has more than 200 individuals, that means about 230 individuals. Uh, three of the woods that were non-active, it's because the, the high trees uh, were cut, but uh, the, all the other 25, uh, we really don't know what the reason is. As you can see, most roosts stay in the Alentejo region, uh, some in the north, some possible in the center of uh, Portugal, all of them to the, uh, mainly near the, um, the frontier. Uh, so, I mean, we did have, uh, of, of course, the best uh, cover from all the country. As I told you, we, we depend a lot uh, on volunteers and the people that are um, available to, to do this work. But uh, so, but this was the count. It, it's our data. It's the first count uh, in the national level. Um, so, as a in number of uh, red kites. We counted uh, between uh, more or less uh, 1,400 and 1,600 uh, wintering red kites. Uh, the higher numbers are in Alentejo, that is in south of Portugal, and the, the, these uh, big dots they represent the, the number, the relative number of birds. So these are the councils that have the highest uh, number of red kites. Uh, also, this uh, doesn't necessarily mean this is the, the picture. Uh, we depend a lot of the number of uh, people and the number of observations that have been taken. Of course, we had more information from the south previously. Um, but uh, even though in the south, we think that uh, the number of red kites can even uh, be higher, can increase if we have taken a more uh, exhaustive survey of the, the, these regions. Uh, our conclusions is that we estimate the population, wintering population, uh, that is uh, about, uh, that can be two or three times higher than the, the actual counts. Um, we had about uh, 40 roosts that were previously known, uh, but in fact uh, we have just uh, confirmed, found out uh, about uh, 20 of them. Uh, so, we really, our impression is that we really, there are more roosts, it's just uh, our uh, field, uh, the survey effort that uh, should be uh, more intensive. Uh, first, so to, to finish. This uh, presentation was done, done within the scope of Life Kupish, uh, which, which gathers all these uh, institutions from Portugal and Spain. 
uh, and uh, we hope that this uh, project will uh, help to have a better um, a better understanding and better conservation of the red cat in the North Portugal. Uh, we thank everybody that uh, have been uh, involved in the red cat survey this year, and that's all. Thank you very much. If you wish to like any question.